As I explained in the introduction to this module, I highly encourage you to practice these techniques with me in real time as I explain and demonstrate them. If I'm moving too fast, just pause your video and rewind as necessary. Before we can start fishing, we need to assemble our rod. And before we can assemble the rod, we need to know how to make the various connections. So we need to talk knots. Now there are thousands of knots and I'm not gonna overload you with 50 different knot types. What I'm gonna teach you are the knots that I use. They're tried and true and I love them. The first portion of the rod assembly I wanna discuss pertains to your reel. Now, as you know, your fly reel carries your fly line. What you may not know is that your fly line is connected to what is called backing. We covered backing in module one. And backing is first connected to your spool before you connect it to your fly line. Okay, before I show you how to attach your backing to your fly reel, I just wanna stress one more time. Do this with me in real time. This is how you're gonna learn and become proficient with rigging uh, an entire fly rod assembly from getting your backing onto your reel all the way up, all the connections connecting back into fly line, fly line to leader, leader to tippets and flies, and et cetera, et cetera. So just try and do this with me while I'm doing it. This is how you're gonna learn. Again, if I'm going too fast, just pause your video and rewind as necessary. The arbor knot. So this is the tag end of my backing. Okay, give yourself plenty to work with. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna make an overhand, just make an overhand knot with the tag end of your backing. Okay, just like that. Okay, you can see my overhand knot that I made and this is this part here is the main strand of my backing. That's what we're gonna attach to the fly line. You can't see the end of it, right? It's really long, it's over here. But this is the tag end and we made an overhand knot, right? Okay, so now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cinch this down. Okay, cinch it down. I'm gonna pull my backing a little bit. You don't have to tighten it super tight yet because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the tag end of our backing one more time and do that exact same knot. Okay, just an overhand knot, see that? Haven't tightened it down yet. Just an overhand knot, that's all that is. Okay, but now I'm gonna, before I tighten this down, I'm gonna push it close to the first knot that I made so that when I do tighten it down, it's sitting right on top of that knot. Okay. So now I'm gonna tighten this knot, my first knot, and now I'm gonna tighten my second knot. And I'm just gonna pull it down, see that? Onto my fly reel. See that in there? Let me take this off so you can see it better took off my frame, this is just my spool, or took off my spool from the frame. That's the arbor knot, okay? And now put this back on my spool of my reel. Okay, and pull down, tighten it pretty good. Make sure it's on there nice and tight. So get some nippers and trim your backing. Okay, I'm using scissors on this braided cord just so you can see it easy, right? And then once that's on there, you can attach your backing to your fly reel like that, okay? And that's braided cord, it's really bulky, but when you attach your backing, it'll sit on your reel nice and flat. First thing you're gonna do is take your backing and just wrap it around the spool of your reel. Very simple. Now make sure you give yourself plenty of tag to work with. This is this top piece of backing is the main strand of your backing, that's the full length of your backing. This bottom piece here, bottom piece, is the tag end, okay? So I'm bringing the end of my tag end back towards the spool of the reel. So now it looks like I have three pieces, I don't. This is the bottom piece is just the tag end that I'm working with. Okay, so you bring that tag end back. And what you're going to notice is when you do that, you've just formed a loop with the tag end of your backing. Okay, so you get the end of your tag end 
and you're gonna go underneath the two main strands of backing, just like that. And I'm gonna go into that loop four times that I created. Okay, and this is why you need plenty of tag. Okay, so I've gone four times. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna begin to tighten down on this knot. Now what you're gonna notice whenever you're working with a knot <laughs> is that if you are not careful to form the knot while you're tightening down, your knot's not gonna look real clean. So make sure that when you're tightening down on this uni knot, you're forming that knot simultaneously. See what happened there? I tightened it down. You can see my four strands real clean. Look at that. That knot looks great. That's a nice clean knot. You always want clean knots in your rigging and it'll become more clear as we go through this module and as we fish why you want a clean knot at every juncture in your assembly. So I've tightened down on this, right? It's pretty tight. And now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it and tighten it down onto my fly rail, see that? Tightening it down, tighten it down real good. You can pull this knot real hard. If you're using Dacron backing, um, pretty strong stuff. You can pull it pretty hard, it's not gonna snap on you. So make sure that that knot is secure. I'm gonna show you this knot from several different angles. Check that out, look how clean that knot is. That's exactly what you're going for. Show you from this side. Show you from the front. And my backing is now attached to the spool of my reel. Now with your nippers, you're going to clip any tag ends. I have to use scissors because I'm demonstrating this knot for you with braided cord. Okay. Okay, so I got my tag trimmed. Now I'm gonna reattach my frame to the spool and I am ready now to begin reeling in my backing onto my fly reel. Now once you've made that connection, what you need to do is you need to wind up all the backing onto your reel. Now there are a couple ways to do that. What I would recommend is that you get a, get a partner, have them put a pencil through the, the spool hole here on your backing and have them hold the pencil and you can literally unwind. This will turn and you can unwind the backing or wind the backing onto your reel. And I like to use my fingers to keep the backing nice and tight as it's going onto the reel. And then of course we have our tag end and that tag end is going to connect to our fly line, which we're gonna discuss in the next video.